was always on fire Our house, our dreams We were dancing on a wire Reckless, it seemed Welcome to Cook Along With Me, What's For Dinner. Um, I wanted to do this again with you guys. I actually had a lot of fun last time I did it and you guys actually seemed to enjoy it. So I'm going to do What's For Dinner, Cook Along With Me video again, but this time I'm making all like fall seasoned items. So I'm making pumpkin chili for tonight and I have like an acorn squash and like apples and stuff like that. So this will be in for the first night, so number one, the first dinner of this video. It will be pumpkin chili by M adding some things into it. I do have the recipe right here and I will make sure to link it down below for you guys so you can make it yourself and if you want you can follow all of the ingredients or you could put your own stuff in it like I am. So it is calling for celery, carrots, bell peppers, onions, pumpkin puree, diced tomatoes, kidney beans, black beans, garlic, salt, pepper, cumin, chili powder, and pumpkin spice seasoning. Um, but the things I am adding are I'm adding these veggie griller crumbles from Morningstar so I can have some plant-based uh, meat in it. And just so you guys know, all of these dinners that I will be making are vegan. So for you vegans out there or vegetarians, these are totally for you. Um, and then for the non-vegan people who like actually eating meat, um, you can just substitute meat, real meat, or whatever you would like for this and you can also get chili beans instead of black beans or kidney beans anything that you would like you can substitute and make it your own way um, and then I'm also adding barnet squash so I did cut up this barnet squash um, you guys will be seeing that video here soon of the meal prep but I did cut up the baronet squash and so I'm adding some baronet squash and this will be used for some other recipes in this video um but i'm going to use some for tonight and then that's everything but i will show you everything up close i just wanted to show you guys and talk to you guys for a minute and just tell you our plan but i am going to be using my instant pot i have not used my instant pot since 2019 for the holidays um it's been quite a long time and last time i used it i made soup in it um, when I was pregnant because it was super easy but I'm bringing it out again because I want to use it again but I hope you guys really do enjoy and while those the chili is making <laughs> cooking while I'm making the chili I am also going to be doing caramel apples and that will be another video for you guys so I hope you guys do enjoy that one as well but let's get started and I hope you guys enjoy okay so right here this is the recipe so if you guys want to screenshot that or I will also be linking it down in the description for you guys. So that is the recipe and then right here is all of the veggies. So I have red onion, bell peppers, burnet squash, celery, and carrots. Um, so all this is pretty much chopped up for me because I did meal prep it. But I'm going to be cutting up into smaller pieces for the chili. And then I have the pumpkin pie spice right here and the pepper, the salt, the cumin, and the chili powder. And then I have pumpkin puree, diced tomatoes, kidney beans, black beans, um, the veggie grillers, and the garlic. So I already just got minced garlic because I don't like chopping up garlic. I hate it. So I just got that one instead. So this is everything that I will be cooking with for tonight's dinner. I love doing these type of videos where it's cook along with me or what's for dinner and um, those videos are honestly my favorite because I do love to cook and I really do hope you guys do enjoy them. You will have to let me know down in the comments what are your favorite videos that I do make. Do you like my hauls? Do you like my vlogs? 
um, do you like my product reviews, um, meal preps, cook alongs with me, what is your favorite? You'll have to let me know down in the comments. It was always on fire, our house, our dreams. We were dancing on a wire, reckless, it seemed. We like what we saw Seems so strong until it falls The final straw Lucas just was not having it. Um, he is teething once again, so he has another tooth coming in. It's his third tooth, um, and he has been super grumpy um, because his teeth are hurting, and so it's been really hard to get anything done. Andre's usually working, and I'm usually doing other things like cooking, cleaning, and taking care of him, but it's really hard to just squeeze in some time to be alone because of his teething, so it's been really hard. All of those colors like the onion, celery, burnet squash, and bell peppers looked so beautiful. They were just all so vibrant and it honestly was just so beautiful. <laughs> Looking in your eyes, you're looking past my. 
don't forget your pride Cause I'm just trying To break this cycle having to put like a half a cup of water in the chili because it was so thick and so in this clip that's why it's so runny and watery is because I did have to add water it was just too thick to even work with <laughs> After the chili I washed it the instant pot probably like seven times and it still smelled like chili it was horrible let me know if when you guys make soup or chili or anything like that in your instant pot if it still sticks around and lingers it's horrible and I hate it okay guys so that is it for the pumpkin chili it turned out looking amazing I have not tasted it yet so I don't know if it's good or not, but I am super excited to taste it. It looks super good. Um, I will be linking it down in the description, the recipe, so if you guys are interested, you can go down there and check it out yourself. And remember, it is completely vegan, but if you don't want to be vegan, you can customize it and put real meat into it. You can also add other things, like I add butternut squash, you can add corn, potatoes, whatever you would like completely up to you but I hope you guys did enjoy it and this was night one of the fall dinners and so there are many 
more to come and I hope you guys do enjoy don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you are new here I hope you did enjoy seeing this um, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button but there are way more videos to come so I hope you guys do enjoy seeing all the other ones good morning you guys so it is morning time and for breakfast I'm actually going to make pumpkin pie rice pudding um, I like rice pudding when it's like fall and winter time it's just super cozy with all the nutmeg and cinnamon but I did end up finding the pumpkin pie recipe on Pinterest. It will be my very first time making the pumpkin pie rice pudding, and it will be my first time making it in the Instant Pot. Um, I was not planning on making it in the Instant Pot, but I was like, you know what, why not? Like, I want to get to know the Instant Pot better so I can do more things with it. And so I thought this was just a good chance. Usually I just make it on the stove in a pot, but now I'm gonna make it in the Instant Pot. And everything you need is just right here. So we have some brown sugar, some regular sugar, just white sugar, um, some butter. I have avocado oil butter. And then pumpkin puree. I have oat milk. It does call for milk and eggs, but I'm just going to use whole milk. No, oat milk. <laughs> um, some salt, some rice just white rice cinnamon pumpkin pie spice and vanilla extract so this is everything that I will be using in today's recipe but like I've said before you can make it your own way you can use real butter or whole milk heavy cream whatever you like and the eggs whichever you prefer but today I'm just going to make it like this and it will be vegan so I hope you guys do enjoy and I hope this turns out tasty let me know down in the comments if you have tried the pumpkin pie rice pudding before or if you do like rice pudding and you've made it in the Insta Pot before for. I would like to know I like to talk to you guys so don't be afraid to comment down below so for this pumpkin rice pudding I honestly had no idea what I was doing I was just going to make rice pudding how I normally do um, but there were a few things that I didn't really know what to add like um, the pumpkin and the milk and the butter and salt like it said um, there was no actual like instructions it was just telling me what goes into the um, rice pudding but there were no like actual measurements or anything like that it was a disaster like I need my territory so why are you still so needy you're in over your head phone is ringing always at a bad time every time you flash your name always leaving then you got me chasing you like I'm the one to blame Okay guys, so the rice is still kind of simmering in the Instant Pot. Um, it didn't tell me the measurements, so I didn't put the salt or the butter um, in the rice. I don't ever use those things. I never even use milk, I just use water. Um, so those were just a little different, but I did not use the bit the butter or the salt so I'm sorry but I never really follow the ingredients like the recipe completely I kind of just wing it and make it my own way just because I like doing that um, but it tastes really good um, I also just added however much I felt like 
I add the whole can of pumpkin and I don't even think it asked for the whole can of pumpkin but it does taste really pumpkin-y so that is really good um and then also to top everything off like top off the rice pudding it does ask for cinnamon but I'm going to do pumpkin pie spice because this is the pumpkin pie rice pudding so I'm going to be extra fancy with it um but it is almost done it should be done in within like two minutes so then I will close out and tell you guys everything about it and tell you guys how it tastes and also show you what it looks like when it's done <laughs> phone is ringing always at a bad time every time you flash your name always leaving then you got me chasing you like I'm the one to blame The rice pudding still did really turn out great. It was good. It just wasn't as delicious as like my normal rice pudding. And I think that's just because it wasn't as like milky or watery. Um, I end up liking my rice pudding more like um, as a soup than just rice. Um, but you'll have to let me know how you guys like your rice pudding. Do you even like rice pudding? Um, and if so, would you rather have it like a soup or would you rather have it thick? Oh my child, I know You hurt and you can't let go It's not your fault all the bed in the house. Okay guys, so here it is. It looks super good. I am going to try it on camera so you guys can see it. It is really dark. Um and I would say that's just like the pumpkin and the dark brown sugar. Um but yeah, so it does look different from other rice pudding, like normal rice pudding. But it smells delicious. It smells super pumpkin-y and super just spice. Like just spices. It smells so good. So I'm going to try it. I am out of spoons. So I'm going to be trying it with a fork. But it's thick. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's really good. It's just, it's a lot of pumpkin. Um, so if you like a lot of pumpkin, then you'll wheel like this. And maybe don't even use all the can. Like, I used the whole entire can. And maybe if I would have just used, like, half the can, it wouldn't be as pumpkin-y. But it's super good. Um, I would say it does need more cinnamon or clove or nutmeg to make it taste better. So it has more of the, like, the spice taste. Um, cause it smells like there's lots of spices in it, but it tastes just like pumpkin puree. So it tastes like a lot of pumpkin. Um, but this is something really good to have in the mornings or whenever during the season because it's just full of pumpkin and it's just, it tastes so good. Um, and I do have my pumpkin spice coffee. So I'm going to go eat breakfast with all my pumpkin stuff this morning. And this is still in the video um with what to cook along with me um like come cook along with me so stay tuned for all the other ones to come i am going to be cooking dinner this um tonight i almost said this morning it's already morning um tonight i'll be cooking dinner and so stay tuned for that and i hope you guys do enjoy um and if you have enjoyed it so far don't forget to hit that like 
button because I hope you guys do like this video and remember to comment down if you have anything to say with any of these meals <laughs> um, go ahead and comment down I would love to talk to you guys and communicate and I would just like that so yeah and I hope you guys did enjoy this but there are many more to come so I'll see you later hi guys so today we are making this pumpkin fettuccine alfredo I've never made it and the recipe is not vegan or um, vegetarian but I am going to make it vegan for you guys so I will be linking this recipe down below too so if you are vegan you can just use what I'm going to use um, or make it your own um, and then if you're not vegan or vegetarian go ahead and just follow the recipe completely just follow each direction or make it however you guys want but it's not vegan so I'm going to making <laughs> I'm going to be making the fettuccine alfredo pumpkin fettuccine alfredo I'm gonna be making it in my instant pot because I'm trying to use that as much as possible so so far every single food item has been my instant pot wow um and then for this, I'm going to be making cinnamon, apples, um, and sweet potatoes. And I've actually never made these recipes. I've not made any of these recipes. So this will all be new to me. But I have the ingredients for both of the food items. And I will go ahead and run those through with you guys. So you guys can see everything I'm using for both of the meals. So for the cinnamon, sweet potatoes, and apples, I have the apples right here the sweet potatoes that I meal prep, um, 100% pure um, maple syrup, cinnamon powder, and olive oil. So that is for the sweet apples and the cinnamon apples and sweet potatoes. It's difficult to remember that name even though it's really not. <laughs> and then for the pumpkin fettuccine alfredo, I have some nutmeg, some pumpkin, some garlic, this is avocado butter, some vegan cheddar cheese, and look how real it looks you guys. It looks so real, it's crazy. And then I have oat milk, and it's just a plain oat milk, and then the fettuccine noodles. So I'll be putting it in my Instant Pot, but this is all the ingredients for what I'll be using tonight. So for this recipe, I have never cooked pasta in my Instant Pot. I never even knew you could put pasta in the Instant Pot. So I had to do a lot of research and a lot of Googling to find out how to do it correctly. Mm -hmm. I know you tried so hard. I know you've done your part It's not fair You did your time How much longer will you suffer in this life? But don't give up Just hold on tight It'll be alright Life you've tried okay guys so the alfredo well the noodles are cooking right now in the instant pot and so while they're cooking I'm going to hurry and get the other part of the dinner in the oven so I'm gonna throw on the sweet potatoes chop up the apples and throw them all into this bowl and then I'm gonna put cinnamon olive oil and maple syrup and mix it together put it on the pan sheet and put them in the oven and then we'll come back to this Give up Just 
Hold on tight. And look at the sweet potatoes and the apples together. It is so beautiful. I just love how vibrant the colors are. Um, I don't know. It sounds weird, but I'm just all for the vibrant fall colors. It looks so beautiful. Also, this part, this like meal, was honestly so delicious. If you guys have not tried cinnamon, apples, and sweet potato, it does sound odd to put them together, but it is honestly so good. I think that the cinnamon and the apple just goes together so well, and it makes it so sweet. Um, and it's just so good. Honestly, you guys need to try it if you haven't. It'll be alright. just with the sweet potatoes the apples the cinnamon and the maple syrup that was just so delicious and then the pumpkin with the pasta and all the spices and seasonings it was so delicious honestly you guys need to give this one a try it was a very good dinner and I don't know if which one is better if like the last dinner or this one was my favorite it's really hard to know which one because they were both so good also, I'm sorry about the grunting and like the groans and everything. I have my son, he is editing and doing this voiceover with me, and he has a lot to say. So, if you hear him, that is my son. But I have to try, try as hard as I can, cause you'll never be mine. 
grumpy he's actually really tired right now um, but we are done with dinner tonight um, it actually turned out amazing as you guys saw the finished product um, and I did give it a taste test it is still warming up right here because I do have a lot left over um, and then I also do have a lot of the apple and sweet potato left over too so that will be nice for tomorrow or if we want some after tonight's dinner if we want a little bit more to eat there will be more but it actually was really easy to make and it all smells really good and I would say this one is very good for autumn and fall time um, <laughs> Because it does use a lot of cinnamon and nutmeg and a lot of pumpkin as you guys saw and also apples apples and sweet potatoes are very autumn-y too so it actually was a really easy dinner and I would recommend you guys make it yourselves um, this is actually one of my favorite ones that we've made so far I was not really a big fan of the chili and I was not a big fan of the rice pudding because it was too pumpkin-y for me um, but this one is actually better on better better on <laughs> this one is actually one of the better dinners that I made um, I still have one more to make and so that will be tomorrow and it's actually acorn squash with another side meal on the side um, and so yeah I'll see you guys then but for tonight our dinner is done and so I'll see you guys later hey guys so we are on our final fall dinner for this cook go along with me video um, so tonight I'll be making two different meals that will go together so one's like a side kind of um, and so you can I'm gonna make acorn squash and you can either make acorn squash savory or sweet whichever one you would like so I'm gonna be making acorn squash sweet tonight and so I'm gonna be using brown sugar and butter with the acorn squash and then the other meal that will be like the side is going to be roasted bar brussels sprouts and butternut squash and so for these i'm going to be putting cranberries butternut squash brussels sprouts maple syrup cinnamon and salt and putting them in the oven to roast so all of this food will be going in the oven tonight to be baked and i hope you guys enjoy so stay along stay tuned to it if you guys want and i hope you do enjoy but this is the last dinner of this video this dinner was so much fun to make i loved the acorn squash and just how beautiful it looked honestly you guys you guys are going to hear me say how beautiful food is 27,000 times because food is just beautiful. It really is. I love the inside of the acorn squash. It looks so beautiful. And then with like the cinnamon, it was just so much fun to make. And you guys, if you have not tried acorn squash roasted with cinnamon or anything like that, I would honestly give this one a try too. It is a lot of fun to make. Um, it's super easy, not a lot of ingredients, and it tastes so good. It like it's a dessert. It's so delicious. I would also have to say that the acorn squash, getting it prepared and already in the oven, like if you pre um, heat your oven already while you're cutting open and preparing the acorn squash, it will be ready like to put into the oven within seven maybe five minutes it is super easy and if you don't even put like these designs into it um it will go even faster maybe like three four minutes you'll be putting it into the oven and then it takes like 30 45 minutes to cook um but honestly however you will like it it's so easy to make get some rest Lay your head on my chest I know you've had a really bad day But I'm right here, it's gone Fall down, it's gonna be okay. The sun could go. 
understand I know it hurts It wasn't fair It's over now So don't despair The world could fall Also, um, pre-prepping your fruits and vegetables will help with the amount of time that it takes you to cook and prepare your food. Um, it is a lot to do in the beginning, but I do personally love preparing my food and cutting it up and chopping it and putting it in the fridge so when I'm cooking dinner or breakfast, it's already cut and all I have to do is mince it or just put it on tin foil and prepare it by putting seasonings and olive oil. Um, so honestly, it's up to you, but I do think when you pre-prep your food, it goes a lot faster and it's a lot easier and a lot less overwhelming and stressful, especially when you have little kids to look after or there's just a lot of going on. Okay guys, so the acorn squash is in the oven right now roasting. It has to roast for about an hour, so it still has like 55 minutes um, but then once it has 20 minutes left I'm gonna throw in the butternut squash and the Brussels sprouts and so with the Brussels sprouts I put salt on them and the butternut squash I put cinnamon and I coat them both in olive oil so that's what they have on them but they don't need to go in until these are almost done and they have 20 minutes left because these only take 20 minutes to cook but this one takes an hour so I'm gonna wait for those but I have them both prepped and then once 
those come out I'm going to toss them in a bowl with some cranberries and some maple syrup to get them all yummy and then it's all done and then the acorn squash it's all done so that's all I have to do now and so now I'm going to sit down and have some coffee um, I made coffee this morning but I never ended up drinking it so now I just warmed it back up and now I'm going to sit down and wait for these to cook but I'll check in with you guys once they're almost done Doesn't that cinnamon on the burnet squash look so delicious? <laughs> you know everything about me Like I need my territory So why are you still so needy? You're in over your head Phone is ringing Always at a bad time Every time you flash your name Always leaving Then you got me chasing You like I'm the one to blame Okay guys, so now as you guys saw, everything is in the oven and so the butternut squash and the Brussels sprouts and the acorn squash still have about 20 minutes. Since everything is in there, it will be done soon and it smells so good in here. It smells like just brown sugar and cinnamon and burn squash it just smells so good so i'm super excited for dinner tonight but i will show you guys once it's almost done like really close to being done <laughs> <laughs> letting it sit it did just come out of the oven and it was pretty hot um, so now I just let it sit and cool down um, so then I can touch it and move it to a plate phone is ringing always at a bad time every time you flash your name always leaving then you got me chasing you like I'm the one to blame Okay guys, it is almost 8 o'clock. <laughs> I started this at like 
6 o'clock so it's taken a minute but I did leave it like 30 minutes to just cool down so I could touch everything and move the acorn squash to a plate so that did make it a little bit longer or it would have been done at 7 so just doing that so it's up to you guys if you want to leave it so you can cool down but this is the finished product. It looks actually very delicious. I'm super excited to try it. I have not had sweet acorn squash that was baked since I was really little. Um, my mom actually used to make it for my brother and I for dinners. Um, and so this is my first time actually making it. And so I just stay off of my memory. I do have the recipes for both of these, but they were super easy to make. But I still will link them down below for you. And all this stuff is vegan still, just because it is a lot of vegetables. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. This is the very last meal for this video. So I hope you guys did like it and I hope you guys did like all of the fall items that I made. Yes, I did make all three of them except for the very last one in an instant pot. And you don't need an instant pot to make the other items. I just did it because it was faster and it was easier. And like I said, I'm trying to get to know my instant pot a little bit better so I can start using it more. Um, but all the meals that I have made have been super good. I do know that this one will probably be my favorite, but last night's dinner, the pumpkin Alfredo was very good. Same with the apples and the sweet potatoes with cinnamon and maple syrup on them. We're super good, um, but I know this one will be too because this does have maple syrup and this has a lot of like brown sugar and cinnamon on it, so I'm super excited. But I hope you guys did like it, and if you are new here, and you ended up liking this video go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more and then put, turn on that bell notification so you guys can get alerts every time that i post a new video i do post every monday and friday so if you did not know that now i hope you do know that and i usually do post um around noonish mountain standard time so look forward to that for any upcoming videos, like I said, Monday and Friday I do post. Sometimes I will post on the weekend, but not regularly. Um, so turn on those notifications if you would like to know when I post. Um, and if you did like that button, if you did like this video, push that thumbs up button. That would mean a lot to me. And also comment down below so I can talk to you guys and engage with you guys. And I will be linking all of the meals and the recipes down in the comments so you guys can make them yourselves. So if you did like any of them, you can make them yourselves and try them out. They were all very delicious and all very festive for autumn time. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, but that is it for this video. And if you guys do have any meal recommendations you would like me to cook or try out for you guys, um, just let me know down in the comments and I will for sure read those. And I would love to hear from you guys. I love engaging and talking to you guys. So don't be afraid. Um, but yeah, that is it for this video. And I hope you guys did enjoy um, and look forward to other videos coming your way.